Welcome to How To Cook That, I'm Anne Reardon and next on our travels in Italy we went to Salerno. From the port of Salerno we then went on a shore excursion up to a tour of Pompeii. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do a video about Pompeii in the future. And then we went on from there on a bus to Sorrento. This area is famous for its luscious lemons and when I was researching before I came I discovered that Sorrento had a very popular dessert that I'd never heard of before, which I've heard of most desserts. It's called Delizia Lemone or Lemon Delights. So I decided to hunt and see if I could find one. The streets of Sorrento were just bursting with character. Many of the shopping areas are closed to cars, so you can just wander around freely knowing that no cars are gonna come up behind you. It was super busy though, there were people everywhere. So we had to make sure that one of us always had a hand on Jed. He would bounce between walking with Dave or I or his brothers and we'd just keep an eye on him. There were shops selling lemon themed ornaments and plates and look at them all, lemons everywhere, they love their lemons. I did see a few of the lemon desserts but they looked really sloppy and not very nice and then finally I spotted this cute little cafe selling Delizia Lemone that looked good enough to film. They look really yummy don't they? I went inside, asked if I could film, set up my camera and then looked around and realised Jed wasn't with us. I quickly switched off the camera, grabbed it and we split up to find him. I honestly thought he'd be right outside the door but he wasn't. I couldn't see him in either direction. So Dave and Matt went one way and James and I went the other way and it seemed like forever he wasn't where I was looking, he just wasn't there and I turned and finally saw Matt give me a thumbs up and they'd found him. He hadn't seen us turn into the cafe and he'd kept walking and then he realised he was on his own and he was lost and he said he prayed and then we found him and we had tears and cuddles and that joy of being reunited. I, my heart was just going crazy. Any mum watching this would know the feeling was just like, where is he? It's just, oh, it's horrific, especially in a foreign country where you don't even know where you are yourself. And oh, such a relief to have him back. We all went back to the cafe. It was actually called Enjoy the Little Things. Losing Jed was definitely a big thing, not a little thing, but we decided to celebrate him being found and enjoy the little things in the rest of our day. I wasn't actually sure if I'd like this dessert because I'd read the recipe already. Mm, I like it. Yeah. I think Good. it's yummy. Yeah. What do you but it was actually surprisingly refreshing and delicious and definitely worth making at home. Bellissimo. So we went and found some limoncello for the recipe. We didn't have to look very hard to find that because it was literally in every second store everywhere we looked was selling limoncello. So I've got this bottle, we'll take it home and I'll show you how to make it. To make this dessert at home you will need firstly to make lemon infused cream and for that you put cream into a bowl, add in some sugar and the rind of two lemons or three lemons if they're small like mine. When you grate the lemon peel you just want the yellow bit, don't grate the white part into it or it will be bitter. If you're new around here make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell to be notified of new videos and just so you know I put all the recipe quantities on my howtocookthat.net website in grams and ounces and cups for you. Give that a stir then cover it and leave it in the fridge. To make the sponge cake you will need potato starch, normal flour, sugar, lemon rind, two eggs, one egg yolk and half of a vanilla bean. To get the vanilla bean seeds, just cut the pot in half and then scrape your knife down it to get all those tiny vanilla bean seeds. Add that into the bowl of a mixer with your eggs and your egg yolk 
and the sugar and the lemon rind. Now whisk that together for a few minutes and you'll see it'll change from being this deep yellow yolky colour to this pale and fluffy airy mixture. Sift in the two flowers, this is just to aerate them and get rid of any lumps and then gently fold all of that together. You don't want to use a mixer for this because you want to keep as much air in the mixture as possible. So just keep folding until you can't see any more flour. Place scoopfuls of that into a greased hemisphere mould. You could use a silicon cupcake tin for this instead if you don't have a hemisphere mould. And just make sure you fill them right up to the top. Then bake them in the oven until they're golden. Now for the next part you need limoncello, which is the lemon liqueur that we bought, and you need water, sugar and lemon rind. Measure out 70 ml of limoncello. If you don't want to use alcohol in this dessert, you can just swap this out for lemon juice and that will still taste great. Pour the water, sugar and the lemon rind into a pan and heat it until the sugar is dissolved. Remove it from the heat and add in your limoncello and leave that to one side to cool. For the lemon curd, you're going to need butter, sugar, lemon juice, lemon rind, egg yolks and vanilla. Put the egg yolks and sugar into a bowl and whisk those together and then put the lemon juice, lemon rind and the vanilla into a pan and heat it until the sugar is dissolved. Tip that hot mixture into the egg yolks and whisk them together. Then pour that through a sieve back into the pan. And all you want left in the sieve is the lemon peel and any little bits of the vanilla pod. The seeds are tiny, they'll go right through the sieve, but sometimes when you're scraping it, you get little woody bits of the pod and you don't want that in your dessert, so this will just get them out. Return that to the heat and stir it until it thickens and then you can take it off the heat. Let it cool down to about 40 degrees, so it's just a little bit warmer than body temperature, so it shouldn't feel hot to the touch. And then add in your butter and blitz it together until it's smooth and that's your lemon curd made. Now moving on to our lemon pastry cream, everything is lemon. Scrape a vanilla bean and put the cream and the milk and the vanilla seeds and your lemon rind into a pan over heat. To the egg yolks add cornstarch, salt and sugar and whisk them together until there are no lumps in the mixture. By now your cream should be starting to boil so you can take that and pour some of it into the egg yolks and just whisk it, we're steaming up the camera there, sorry. Whisk it through and then you want to tip that back into the pan. Whisk it continuously over the heat until it's very thick. Then pour that through a sieve, again just to get rid of the lemon rind and any little bits of vanilla bean pod. Cover the surface of the pastry cream with plastic wrap, that just stops it getting a skin on it, and put that in the freezer to cool it down quickly. Grab the cream that was infusing with lemon in the fridge and strain that through a sieve. Then whip it on high speed until you get soft peaks. Now you've got all your components ready and all you need to do is add some of your limoncello sugar mixture that we made into the pastry cream. Now I have strained this limoncello mixture as well to get rid of the lemon rind that was in that. Add the lemon curd and mix it through. When you're making this, you don't have any lemon curd left over, so feel free to double or triple the lemon curd recipe so you can have leftovers for on toast because lemon curd is delicious. Then add some of the whipped cream, leaving the rest of it in the fridge and fold that all together. Doesn't that look amazing? Look at all those vanilla seeds and that lovely lemony color just folding through there. Place that mixture into a piping bag and push the nozzle down into the sponge cake and squeeze until it seems full and repeat that for the other ones. I've never seen this technique before of the way of getting a filling in the center of a dessert but I like it. It's nice and neat and easy to do. 
Once they're all filled, put the rest of the mixture back into the bowl and we'll use that for the coating in a minute. Push the sponge cakes out of the silicon mold, flip them upside down and put them onto a tray. Then drizzle each one with the rest of that sweetened limoncello mixture that we made. And then once they're all coated, you want to put them in the freezer for at least an hour. Take the leftover filling and add in some more of that whipped lemon infused cream and mix it together. Then add in some milk. This is just to thin it down to make it easy to get a smooth coating on it. So you might not need all of this milk, but just add in as much as you need to get a good consistency for dipping. Take one of the cold sponge cakes and push it down all the way into the coating until it's completely covered. And now for the messy part. Scoop it out with your hand, flipping it the right way up as you do. So you put it in, push it under, scoop it, flipping it up the right way as you do, wipe off the excess on the side of the bowl and put it on the rack. You end up at the end with a lot of leftover topping from this. I'm going to add some gelatin to it and turn it into a lemon mousse because it seems just too much of a waste to have all of this. This is yummy. Then for your Delizia Lemone, just place one onto a plate, pipe a swirl of lemon infused whipped cream on top, add a lemon leaf to one side. Now I happen to have a lemon tree in my garden. If you don't, you might have to leave that off. Add a fresh or freeze dried strawberry on top for that pop of color. And what an interesting alternative to a glaze on a dessert this is. It just looks perfect. And then in the center, you have a lemon filling and your lemon sponge cake. This week, for the first time in How to Cook That History, we're having a baking competition. Head on over to the How to Cook That newly formed Reddit page to find out how to enter and what photo you need to upload there so that I can judge the winners and send out some prizes. Click here to see last week's video, Making Cannoli with an Italian Chef. Subscribe to How to Cook That and turn on notifications to get notified of new videos and click here for cakes and here for chocolate. Make it a great week and I'll see you on Friday.